Hey everybody, Dave Basulto, FilmmakingCentral.com, back in Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. We're going to take a look uh, and hopefully answer a question that uh, one of the users had on uh, in uh, YouTube. And they uh, asked me a question about uh, they're having problems playing back real-time footage um, in different formats on their laptop uh, and also on their home PC. So... There are, there are limitations. Some formats are massive. Um, right here, you're looking at a rev, red file. And if we go and uh, go into my properties, sorry. You can see that we are in a red file. It's uh, 2K. And, uh, you know, average data rate's 9.5 megabytes a second. That's pretty big. So... If you're on a little laptop, and actually when I'm on my MacBook Pro, uh, my 13-inch MacBook Pro, by the way, um, doing stuff in red and, and uh, ABC HD and other things are going to be a little bit of a chugger. So the way that Adobe has uh, really stepped up in CS5 was to allow us, and this is kind of a little secret because I know a lot of people don't know about this, if you go into your source monitor here, where we're going to do all of our cutting, and right-click, and go down into playback resolution. Now, right now, I'm playing back in full, and this is my red file, so if I click the space bar, uh, one more time, so you can see it's kind of chugging along. So what I do, and this is my first version Mac, Mac Pro, so it definitely doesn't have my NVIDIA card like my PC. Uh, what I do is go back into playback resolution, and I can lower this to half, a quarter, an eighth, even a sixteenth. So let's just say I want to go into an eighth. And if I press the space bar, now you see it playing. This is actually slow-mo footage. So it plays back fine. When I stop, if I go right-click again, the paused resolution is full. So let's just bring that down into my timeline. And I can actually click on this, and it's in my timeline. And here it is over on the side here. You see the red footage. And just scrubbing it now is awesome. It's so, I mean, imagine timeline, red footage, scrubbing, no problem. Now I press the uh, space bar, you can see once again it's playing fine. And you see the red line here, that means that it's not rendered, it's just plain. And this is all due to the Mercury engine and the fact that I can change my resolution speeds. So it's not going to affect my editing, I can still make my cuts, bring the footage in, um, and you know export it in full resolution, so that's not a problem, it's just the playback um, for smoother playback and for the less monstrous computers out there that might be, have a little hard time processing uh, all this data image, um, being able to go right click and change the playback. Let me just re change the playback resolution um, from full to an eighth, a quarter, or whatever you're interested in, and the pause leaving it at full is a huge plus um, in CS5. So if you're having problems, the footage is chugging a little bit, just change that playback resolution and you will be fine. Okay, I'm Dave Basilto. Keep those questions coming. Um, if you have a chance, take a look at the Switcher page. If you're on Final Cut Pro uh, and looking to switch, take a look at the Switcher page and the link will be below. I'm Dave Basilto. Love this footage being chased and exploded. Red footage playing in the timeline at 1 8th resolution, exporting at full. Okay, everyone have a great day.